Well, we were talking about taking your dog to the park next month or Fargo Square, I should say, down on Broadway Square. But how exciting is that? I'm glad we got that included. Mm -hmm. And then it was perfect timing because right now we're changing our attention to the dogs yet again. 2,500 pups representing more than 200 breeds are all set to participate in the 147th Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, and it all begins next Saturday. This year's competition takes place at an iconic new venue with a newly eligible breed making its debut. Bradley Blackburn gives us a sneak peek. They're known for being our obedient furry companions. But next week, these prized pups will become world-class athletes vying to be best in show. The dogs that are, are going to be competing actually represent 48 of the 50 states, which is really incredible. We've also got 13 countries represented. This year's iconic Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show features 210 breeds, including friendly louchens like Corbel. This is what we call a hidden gem breed. They're a nice size, they're easy to care for, they're very smart. Other four-legged gems set to grace the stage include the pint-sized Tibetan Spaniel and the big and bubbly Newfoundland, known for its strength. The Bracco Italiano breed is eligible for the first time, meaning dogs like Elvira here could be this year's best in show. They're pretty heavy bone, heavy body, but when you see one out running, they are very elastic. The venue for the competition is also new. All the events will take place at the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center, home of the U.S. Open Tournament. If you're the top dog, you want to compete at Westminster. It is the Super Bowl of dog shows. And while only one canine can be crowned top dog, all of the dogs go home with the coveted title, Man's Best Friend. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Man's best friend. I never asked you, are you a dog person? I have two dogs, actually. Oh, yeah. I have a husky corgi mix. Cute. Dog, and then I have a German shepherd. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Okay. So I love my dog. But I'm a little allergic. So yeah, that's it's tough. hard because mm -hmm. I just, I love them at a distance. And I love <laughs> dogs. I do like cats too, but I'm super allergic to cats. Yeah. I look at a cat and I start sneezing. <laughs> yeah. So she thinks of a cat. Yeah. And she I breaks out into Jillian a Jillian talks about her cats and my eyes start watering. <laughs> I'm sneezing. Seriously. She talks about her cats and I'm like, oh, goodness. Yeah, I mean, I totally understand that. I luckily, mm -hmm. knock on wood, don't have any type of uh, pet allergies. Yeah. Knock on wood, as I said, because I'm getting ready to uh, head home to Michigan to visit my little doggy. Oh. Yeah, that trip's next month, so I'm counting down the days. Phoebe, I'm coming. For the graduation, too? Yes, fun. yeah, my nephew's graduation, oh, basically a family reunion, and then basically where I just kidnap my family dog, yeah. and then I just don't, you know. Of course. Hang out with anybody else. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> as one should, as any dog lover knows quite yes. well, or pet lover in general. Mm -hmm. Jillian, you know what? The more we talk about this, the more we just are reminded that you're on a beach right now. Yep. <laughs> you're out living your best life. So we yep. know, you know, her cats are home and taking care of though. Yeah. So that's nice. Did she get a cat sitter? I think her family's watching it. Oh, I might have just made that up. I don't oh, remember, yeah. but we know she's obsessed with yeah, them. So, so they're not fending for themselves. Exactly. Nothing, okay. nothing could ever harm them in yes. this world. So they're, I'm sure they're taken care of. Yep. She's on a beach. Yep. It's super gloomy and cold out today. <laughs> but almost, it's Friday. Yes, it's We're Friday. bringing the brightness, oh. and it's Blueberry Pie Day. So yes. we're, we're just coming up with reasons for you guys to also adopt, to just really be you know, excited yes. about it. And if you're looking forward to the dog show, this year's competition also includes a new dock tossing competition. It marks the 10th anniversary of that ever popular Masters Agility Championship. The highly anticipated event, again, takes place on May 6th, 8th, and 9th. For all of you ready to tune in from home. So what is dock tossing? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm like, but these I dogs are something? professionals. <laughs> all I know is that they are highly trained and ready. Ready to take action. Those dogs are definitely more athletic and agile than me. A than any basic human yes. needs to be, I'm sure. Yep. I mean, that's what they're bred for. This is what they've worked for for their whole lives. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that motivated. But they get treats. <laughs> Oh, and okay. I don't. Right. So. Well, I guess we'll have to figure something out. <laughs> Coming up, though, we'll take a look at your daily dose of motivation. Yes, I'm getting us out of this. Don't you worry. We'll be back with a look at that and then our final send-off on our Friday morning. Stick around, everybody.